I, I like having Omega Sis' face at the top. This space station gets its power to move from this generator. From that one generator, that's all it takes. Power levels of each module are displayed here. All right. Wave change, boys. On the air. I cannot wait for Skyward Sword to come out in June? No, July. It's July, right? Because I think it's I think it comes out the week after PopCon. Like PopCon is on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then the Friday after PopCon, uh Skyward Sword releases. I actually thought it was releasing the week of Skyward Sword at first, and I was like, I hate this because or I thought that Pop I thought Skyward Sword was releasing the uh But uh words, what am I trying to say? Uh, I thought that Skyward Sword was actually releasing the week of PopCon, and I was like, oh, that sucks. I'm going to have to, like, play it after, which I was not happy about. But then it, then I looked it up, and it was actually like, nah, dude, it actually, like, comes out the uh, the week after, which I was very thankful for. Got around to pre-ordering Skyward yet, but I know I want to get those fancy themed Joy-Cons for it, given my current ones have no end of drift issues. Yeah, my left Joy-Con has drift issues, and I've never bought another pair of Joy-Cons. I bought a Pro Controller, and then I just always use it. But I'm going to use the Joy-Cons for Skyward Sword, because Skyward Sword is like the only game with good motion controls in history. It's one of the only ones. Very rarely do games have good motion controls, but Skyward Sword, I believe, is one of them. So I want to play it with motion controls, like how the game was meant to be played, even though they have an alternative option now. That was really bad. I should have waited to use that big axe. I'm about to get hit. Oh, you have a Switch Lite? That's unfortunate. Switch Lite is just such a... I mean, you know. It's a bit cheaper, so you know people are like really need to save $100. Because it's only like a $100 difference, right? I understand, but like... I could never imagine getting a Switch Lite over an actual Switch. I feel like it would be such a waste. I know Liam has a Switch Lite, and he's just like, yeah, I wish I had, like, an actual one, and if a Switch Pro comes out, he's gonna try and get one ASAP, because I know he's not happy having to use his, uh... Murder! He's not happy having to use the Switch Lite a lot. Purple Ink, I think, is a new standard chip. I don't think we had that ink move yet. I think we had all the other ones. Is this Opiaca? I thought it was gonna be Scales next, but that looked like it might have been Opiaca. No, that's Scales. That's Scales. This is Libra. Yeah, I mean, you're you're welcome to disagree. I just, I disagree. As well. Like, you know, $100? That's like two Switch games. Sure. But also, like, Switch Lite just seems like it's weaker. In the Switch, I've been told like it has even more trouble running games because you can't plug it into the TV. And then like, even if you play on the go more than you do using the Switch, than you would like using the Switch on the TV, like I, I would just hate not having the option. Like I can do both instead of just one. I mean, you're already dropping two hundred dollars on a console. Is one like a hundred more dollars? Again, it's not nothing. It's not insignificant amount of money. I'm not trying to say it is, but when buying a console, I feel like. I'd rather pay another $100 for, like, a stronger one that gives me more options. Also, being unable to, like, being unable to do stuff like play, especially with Skyward Sword coming out, I would absolutely, I would be livid right now if I had to play Skyward Sword, like, without motion controls and all. Bum, bum, bum. I have not been paying attention to this thing at all. Whoops. 
Wrong button press. But yeah, anyways, I really want the, uh... I really want the, uh... The custom Joy-Cons. That's another thing I would hate about having a Switch Lite, is, like, you don't... You can't get other Joy-Cons, right? What if your... What if your Switch Lite starts having drift? Like, if one of my controllers starts having drift, yeah, I gotta spend, like, another 60 bucks to fix it. To get another... Not to fix it, but to get another controller. But I also... I've never had drift on an actual controller. I've only ever had drift on Joy-Cons before. Like, none of my DualShock controllers have ever had drift. Uh, et cetera, et cetera. My Pro controller for the Switch hasn't had drift. But, like, if your thing starts drifting on a Nintendo Switch Lite, you either gotta, like, get it sent in to be fixed, or you gotta spend another $200. I gotta see how these scales work. All right, it's based around red and blue again. You make a square with red and blue, the small star goes off to the right, and then... Okay, I think I got it. I don't have a switch light. I don't know if they can have drift or not. That's why I was asking. I would assume it's a possibility. I've never heard about people complaining about controllers drifting until the Nintendo Switch. Like, definitely, I'm not saying it doesn't exist, but I feel like it's practically... Practically never happens on most... Oh, I screwed this up because the amp thing is... Yep, I screwed this up. I'm an idiot. Don't talk to me. Several misplays were made right there. That was also really dumb. That was a very bad fight. If your Joy-Cons drift, Nintendo fixes it for free? Well, you get to send it in to Nintendo and have to wait however long it takes Nintendo to get it done and send it back to you, which would drive me insane. There's a rumor that the PS5 controller has drift? Mine has it. I feel like if the PS5 controller was, like, you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if some people had, like, hey, my controller is drifting a little bit. But it's definitely, like, if it was as widespread as, like, people have been complaining about Nintendo Switch drifting, I feel like there would have been, I would have heard about it. I would have seen a bunch of stories about it. I swear I hear a new story about Nintendo's uh, Joy-Cons drifting, like, every other month, if not more often. Uh, okay, so this is actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Anyways, if you're looking at getting Nintendo Switch, I highly recommend getting an actual Switch. Don't get a light. If you did get a light, and that $100 really breaks the bank for you or not, do what you gotta do, brother. I'm just saying I think it's way better to have an actual Switch. I certainly find it much better. I'm surprised. I didn't think you'd get to me. But I won't let you get past me. <laughs> What's a pair of scales gonna do to us? You're gonna weigh some stuff at us? Oh no! You and your insults. You've just said your last. I also, like, I've, I've had games lag on me when playing on my television. I can only imagine that some games, like, dude, I, it must... I want to see gameplay of someone playing Age of Calamity 2 on a Switch Lite, which you can't... I, I don't think there's any way to record gameplay on a Switch Lite because you can't dock it, so there's no way to use a capture card on it. But, like, I can only imagine that, like, certain... And by certain, I mean a lot of content in Age of Calamity probably lags the Switch Lite, like, to death. Like, it probably becomes a slideshow because it already has lagging issues on the normal Switch. Like, it would, it would probably be down to, like, 15 FPS a second. If not worse. Uh, did I say 13 FPS a second? That's, or did I say 15 FPS per second? That's 15 frames per second per second. That's like DC Comics, Detective Comics Comics. These scales are gonna weigh your sins and then serve you the punishment you deserve. Now, Omegasis, face the punishment of your betrayal. Geo, weigh battle right on. The scales have spoken. I hope they finally actually make a Switch Pro, because that's still my biggest problem with the Nintendo Switch, is that it's just so darn weak. 
I'm not a guy who's like, oh, my graphics and FPS, I need, I need 4K graphics and uh, uh, 120 FPS. I'm not that kind of guy. I don't even really need 60 FPS. Like, I'm fine with 30 usually. I don't pay that much attention to that stuff. But, like, when I'm playing a video game on the Nintendo Switch and I see, like, noticeable lag and, like, the graphics are, like, noticeably, like, man, that's not loading in properly because the Switch just can't manage it. That's, like, even, at that point, even I'm, like, come on, dude. Like, you, you should be able to make something better than this. What, what's... Yeah, Chug City, I imagine. I like to get him in the center when I use Dragon Sky GX. I've only had Drift with one of my DS4s. Never had Drift with any other controller than my Joy-Cons. To be fair, DS4 only got Drift after like four years of heavy use playing Destiny, so the sticks were constantly used. I used, uh, I really used out my PS4 and my, uh, I don't think you can block those. I got lucky because I had the barrier. I heavily used out uh, my DualShock 4, which I only ever had the one DualShock 4 controller as far as I can remember. And I also heavily used out my uh, my old PS2 controllers, but I never had them drift ever. And I've been using my PS5 controller a good bit. Never had any trouble with it. The PS4 controller that I've used for like six years or something like that, ever since I had a PS4, I use it on my PC for like whenever I need a controller for a game on my PC. Never had trouble. No, you may have beaten me, but there is nothing but doom and destruction in your future. Andromeda is waking. What would you think if the trilogy came to the Switch? What, of Star Force? I don't really think Star Force is like... It would be really hard to translate the games from DS to... Not DS. From one from dual screen to one screen. I think it would be difficult. They'd have to do a lot of major overhauling. Also, like, these games didn't sell super well. Like, the third game sold poorly enough that they didn't make a fourth one, even though they had plans for it. So, I, I don't think they'll ever port the Star Force games. I would love it if they did. I love Star Force. I think Star Force is a really good series. It's really slept on by a lot of people. But, uh, I just don't think it'll ever happen. Andromeda. Andromeda is almost fully awake. We've got to hurry, then. Boop. Okay, I got the door open. Let's go. They did the zero story, so why not? I don't know what the zero story is. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not saying that it would be impossible to port the Star Force games. I just think it's very unlikely. Just like with the Spectrobe games. Spectrobe games are, well, the first two Spectrobe games kind of suck. Spectrobe's Origins is really good, and all three of the Star Force games are really good. They didn't sell super well, and the people who made them probably aren't paying any attention to them, and probably won't for a long time, if ever. So, I just don't expect them to ever port it. I don't know what Mega Man Zero is, I never played it. Star Force is my favorite Mega Man 2. I love, I don't, I never got into the original Mega Man stuff, so I don't really care for it. I played the new Mega Man 11 game, and I was just like, it's not for me, I don't like it. But, uh, Star Force and Battle Network, I love them both a lot. I like Star Force the most. I really, really love Star Force. Definitely my favorite Mega Man. I love the design of Mega Man himself. I love the designs of all of the Star Force characters and enemies. Oh, a lot of good stuff. Mega, is he? Even without being Mega Man, you can tell. Yeah, beyond this door is the FM King. And Andromeda. Behind here. But first, we have to get this door open. You got it, kid. Do we have to do another chip thing? Another another card boy? I don't know. This is the space where the station crew relaxed and spent their private time. Ah, oh, neat. I think that this is the shirt. That shirt right there is the shirt you always see Kelvin wearing in the cutscenes. I think that's the shirt he normally wears. Where are we? Are we... Yeah, this is our dad's room. There's a picture of uh, Geo and uh, Geo's mom right there, I'm pretty sure. Looks like their hairstyles when they were younger, maybe. Ah, oh, that's... 
It's a picture of me. Yeah, this is where your dad, Kelvin Steller, was during the incident. This is where dad, that day three years ago, at the command of the FM King, we invaded this space station, took all of its passengers, and held a trial. The FM King found them all guilty and sentenced them to death. He sentenced them to... No. Before the sentence was carried out, I was the jailkeeper, as it were. And that's how I met your dad. Kelvin kept poking into my business. And when I'd notice, he'd act like it was nothing. Then one day, just as I'd gotten the Andromeda key, and was about to escape from the station. Mega, what are you planning to do? Dude, Kelvin's, uh, his, uh, character model always weirds me out. It looks like he's puffing his chest out, doesn't it? Like he's bending his back awkwardly. It, it's so weird to me. One way or another, I'm gonna take out the Ephemians. I've gotta get going before they catch me. Didn't know you for long, but it's been fun. Wait, Mega. What? Can you take us with you? What are you talking about? Is your head on straight? You guys are humans. How am I supposed to bring you along? Turn our bodies into EM waves, please. If we humans are radiated in enough Z waves, which you aliens with EM bodies emit, then we should turn into waves as well. I guess if you soak up enough Z-waves, your bodies would lose mass and you'll turn into waves, but... Listen, if we stay here, we're goners anyway. No matter how small of a chance, as long as there's a hope, then we can't give up. Please, Mega. You know what my situation is, right? Mega, why don't you give up on revenge and come to Earth with us? I'm sure you'd get along great with my son. <laughs> Go to Earth. Even if I turn you guys into waves, how are you planning on finding your way back? You don't become all-knowing just because you're a bunch of waves. You get lost in space, and you'll be wandering the stars forever. I'll send an access signal for my transer to my sons. If the signal is picked up, then it should guide us to where he is. It's not too late, Mega. Throw away the Andromeda key. Come with us! <laughs> stop. I'm not looking for a place to rest. I have only one goal. To defeat the FM King. Sorry, but I'm not taking you guys with me. But if you want to go home that badly... I can change you into waveform. But after that, you guys are on your own. Mega. Thank you. I'll get the others. Uh, we finally learned what happened to Geo's dad. After that, I changed all the passengers, starting with your dad, into EM waves. Then, as we were escaping from the station, Taurus, who was looking for me, suddenly attacked. It was a violent attack, and when I had a chance to look around, Kelvin and the others had vanished. All that was left was his transer. I was hurt, but I flew towards the signal Kelvin's transer was sending and followed it. And that's how I ended up where you were, Geo. Dad, what happened to him? Taurus's attack was aimed at me, so I don't think Kelvin and the others were hit. I think they're probably still out there in their waveforms lost. But if they're in waveform, then that means they might still be alive. They might be, but the chances are slim. I know. But if there's even a sliver of a chance, then I'll keep the hope alive. Come on, Mega, let's go. We've got to go protect the Earth so there will be one when Dad comes back. Yeah, I don't want to think about how to explain it to your dad if he comes back and finds the Earth a mess. Yeah. Uh, we're at three hours and ten minutes, but I mean, we still have to go through one more comp and then fight the final boss. I think we're just gonna go for probably an extra hour today, chat. I'll go a full four hours today, instead of just three hours. Because I would like to finish the main story today. I also love Omega Sys. Omega Sys is a great character. He's one of the best characters in Mega Man. Omega Sys in Mega Man Star Force. And in Mega Man in general, even, I would say. Omega Sys is probably... Probably my favorite character after Solo from Star Force 2. Well, I think I like Sonya more than Omega Sys 2, so Omega Sys is probably my third favorite. Oh no, it's the... Okay. The gravity thing can only... Oh good, we got the big axe. The gravity enemy can only be hit by... Uh, can only be hit by sword chips, which thankfully we have. So 
So big axes count as swords, I'm pretty sure. Any kind of slashing weapon can hit it. That's like the only way you can hurt it. Where do I jump to next? Did I go the wrong way? Oh, I can go right here. I do not like these little hop things. If you happen to see a virus that looks like a dark vortex, be careful. You can only attack it with sword type weapons. Yep. I don't like these little hopping things, but I'm pretty sure they're only in this game. Oh, thank you for continuing to give me big axe when this guy shows up. 